Well, from that famous mouse to a multi-billion dollar corporation, the Walt Disney Company has grown far beyond anything Walt could ever have imagined. Reporter Laura Francis sat down for this rare interview with the CEO of Disney, Bob Iger, to discover his magic formula for success. I get hot lip that. The Walt Disney Company isn't just about Mickey and Minnie Mouse. It's the largest and most profitable media and entertainment organisation on the planet. So it's no wonder the CEO of the Walt Disney Company, Bob Iger, is smiling. He's the man behind the magic who's guided the organisation, founded by the legendary Walt Disney, to its number one spot. To sit atop a company that he founded, as a life experience, there aren't that many that are better. His challenge is to preserve the heart and history of the company while giving their recent films a modern twist. If you were to watch Cinderella today, you'd say, wow, what a beautiful movie and a beautiful character. But her happiness was so tied to finding the love of a man. If you were to watch Tangled, the good one was brave. Yes, they're princesses of the realm or of realms, but they have points of view, they stand for things, they have very, very noticeable strengths and character. And that's a big difference. But the company has now travelled far beyond the land of princesses. These days, so many roads lead to Disney. The force is with you, young Skywalker. Most recently, Disney has joined forces with Lucasfilm, home of the Star Wars franchise, for just over $4 billion. We'll see the latest instalment of the iconic film series titled Star Wars Episode 7 in 2015. Back in 2006, Disney purchased Animation House, Pixar, for close to a whopping seven and a half billion dollars. What have we here? A deal that united him with the king of innovation, the late Steve Jobs. Beyond him being a shareholder and um, a wonderful advisor, uh, he did become a good friend. Three years later, the 61-year-old from Long Island, New York, dished out more than $4 billion to add comic giant Marvel Entertainment to the Disney empire. It's yet another business move that paid off and put Disney ahead of the media pack. Marvel's superhero film, The Avengers, has become the third highest grossing film of all time. And the action is only just firing up. Well, we're very excited about our Avengers characters because we're just filming Iron Man 3 with Robert Downey Jr. That's released in 2013. We're in production on Captain America 2, and we're about to go into production on Thor 2. And we've said there will be an Avengers 2. We've got such a strong slate of Marvel movies in the works. Bob Iger is clearly one of the most successful media moguls in the world. But being the king of Disney means that some of his biggest fans are actually, well, little. I had a conversation with uh, Michelle Obama and her daughters and said, people tell me that the only person in this country that has a better job is your dad. <laughs> and they looked at me and they said, no, we think you've got a cooler job. I then related the story to the president and he definitely agreed with them.